लोकतंत्र धीरे धीरे जरूरत से ज्यादा लोकतंत्र में बदल जाता है यानी ये जरूरत से ज्यादा मीठा हो जाता है और इतना मीठा हो जाता है कि ये देश को डायबिटीज दे देता है 2023 का एक महीना भी पूरा नहीं हुआ एंड सुधीर जी इज ऑलरेडी फेड अप विद डेमोक्रेसी आज जरूरत है शायद लिमिटेड डेमोक्रेसी की सीमित लोकतंत्र जिसमें यह तय हो स्पष्ट रूप से कि नागरिकों की सीमा नेताओं की सीमा कहां तक होनी चाहिए यस एवरी वन शुड स्टे इन लिमिट सिटीजन नेताज एवरी वन एक्सेप्ट न्यूज चैनल वो कुछ भी कर सकते हैं लिमिटलेस प्रोपोगैंडा लिमिटलेस जिहाद न्यूज अनलिमिटेड फैक्ट आर नॉट फैक्ट ड्रामा अनलिमिटेड बकवास पेलोड इन द नेम ऑफ न्यूज लिमिटेड पब्लिक इंटरेस्ट सवाल पब्लिक का है आज कि क्या द कश्मीर फाइल्स फिल्म के खिलाफ प्रोपोगैंडा कर रहे इकोसिस्टम को ऑस्कर कमेटी से जवाब मिल गया है सवाल पब्लिक का ये है कि क्या प्रोपोगैंडा करने वाली इकोसिस्टम को ऑस्कर कमेटी से जवाब मिल गया ये क्या सवाल है यार और नविका के सवाल पब्लिक का में पब्लिक है कौन भाई डज दिस पब्लिक इवन एग्जिस्ट और इट्स जस्ट नविका इन अस टॉक हर सेल्फ Now it wasn't just Navika. Hamare sare usual suspects went overboard discussing Kashmir files yet again and how it has entered the Oscar list. It's been shortlisted apparently. Is news ka source kon tha? Sakshat, Mr. Facts are not facts himself. This is what he tweeted. Big announcement. The Kashmir files has been shortlisted for Oscars 2023 in the first list of the Academy. It's one of the five films from India. I wish all of them very best. A great year for Indian cinema. We'll come to the actual facts, but just see how much time was spent discussing this issue. Anupam Kher ka interview, Vivek Agnihotri ka interview, 40 40 minute ki debates, limitless propaganda. 1990 mein Kashmir mein jis tarah Hindu nar sanghar hua, ye ek badi khabar hai aaj ki. Wo Kashmir katha ab sambhavta duniya ke samne jayegi. Aaj Kashmir files दुनिया के सबसे बड़े मंच ऑस्कर के लिए शॉर्टलिस्ट हो गई कश्मीर फाइल्स का ऑस्कर में जाने के बाद फिल्म पर सवाल उठाने वाला गैंग सन्नाटे में भारत की फिल्म का ऑस्कर में जाना देश के लिए गौरव की बात है लेकिन टुकड़े टुकड़े गैंग को यह बात हजम नहीं हो रही डू यू बिलीव दैट विनिंग एन ऑस्कर और इवन बींग नॉमिनेटेड फॉर वन और इवन बींग शॉर्टलिस्टेड फॉर वन इज ए वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट marker in the evolution of the story of this movie which will put it in the same list as let's say skinders list behas to aaj is baat ki hai ki kashmiri hinduon ke narsanghar ko jhutlane ki koshishon ko kya aaj ek bada jhatka laga hai now has kashmir files been shortlisted the answer is no सवाल पब्लिक का ये है कि क्या कश्मीर फाइल्स का प्रोपोगंडा करने वाले इकोसिस्टम को कोई अकल है नहीं कश्मीर फाइल्स इज अमंग 300 फिल्म्स दैट हैज मेड इट टू द रिमाइंडर लिस्ट ऑफ प्रोडक्शंस एलिजिबल फॉर द 95th एकेडमी अवार्ड्स दिस रिमाइंडर लिस्ट इंक्लूड्स मूवीज लाइक आर 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 कंतारा गंगूबाई काठियावाड़ी एंड बेसिकली इट मींस दैट इफ यू आर ऑन द लिस्ट देन यू आर एलिजिबल टू कंपीट इन द ऑस्कर्स How do you become eligible? Simple rules. Feature films must open in a commercial motion picture theatre in at least one of these six U.S. metropolitan areas. They must have screened between January one, twenty twenty two, and December thirty first, twenty twenty two, and complete a minimum qualifying run of seven consecutive days in the same venue. And feature films must have a running time of more than forty minutes. That's how you make it to the reminder list. That's it. The official Oscar nominations will be announced around January 24th after the Academy members vote. मतलब यार, this tamasha over Kashmir files is a bit like saying Pappu IAS clear कर गया when all he did was clear the eligibility criteria, or saying Pappu election जीत गया when all he did was become eligible to contest the elections. Meanwhile, four Indian films have actually been shortlisted. इन बेचारों के बारे में कोई डिबेट नहीं हुई कोई डिस्कशन नहीं हुई इनको नविका ने कॉन्ग्रेचुलेट तक नहीं किया प्राइम टाइम पे टुडे वुड यू वांट टू कॉन्ग्रेचुलेट विवेक अग्निहोत्री एंड अनुपम खेर जी आई एव एक्चुअली लॉस्ट काउंट ऑफ द नंबर ऑफ टाइम्स नविका एंड टाइम्स नाउ हैव इंटरव्यूड विवेक अग्निहोत्री ओवर द पास्ट वन ईयर टू प्रमोट हिज फिल्म हाउ मेनी टाइम्स हैज नविका डन अ प्रॉपर डिबेट ऑन द प्लाइट ऑफ पंडित इन द वैली द करंट प्लाइट 
Since June 2020, targeted attacks in the valley against minorities have led to 24 deaths. Last year, 17 Kashmiri Pandit families left the valley amid a spate in attacks. Kashmiri Pandits working in government jobs have been protesting in the valley for over 200 days. They say that they feel unsafe, that there have been targeted killings against them and they want to be relocated. The LG responded to their protest by saying that those who won't work won't get paid. So stop protesting. Pandit staged another protest in Jammu against LG's insensitive remark. Just read the posters from some of these protests. Is government waiting for a massacre? Rehabilitation, a big failure. Apne desh mein dandit hoon. Main Kashmiri pandit hoon. All you see in the news is this poster. No real discussions on the issues the pandits face today in the valley. No debates with protesters who've been staging a dharna for 200 days because they feel unsafe. All discussions are about Kashmir files. No discussion about Kashmir lives. Just unlimited, limitless propaganda. Scorecard for Navika. Debates on Kashmir Files non-nomination. 2. Joshi Mutt sinking. 0. Shunya. Kashmiri Pandit protests. 0. Shunya. Nil. Anda. Omelette. Now, last week, we told you to watch a report on Joshi Mutt by Hridesh Joshi. This week, Hridesh has left for Uttarakhand to look at 600 other such spots in Uttarakhand that are sinking. Hridesh's report series will audit all infrastructure projects in the state and speak to experts to narrate the tale of a calamity in making and other disasters waiting to happen in Uttarakhand. Akhir is Etihasik Nagari ka ye hal hua kaise? Kya isme sirf prakriti kaabda hai ya isme manvi hath bhi hai? News Laundry un samachar platforms mein hai jinhone sabse pehle aapko ye khabar batayi aur hum NL Sena project ke tahat ground se reporting kar rahe hain. While the news will move on, we will stay in Uttarakhand and bring you ground reports. This project is part of our NL Sena project, so please log on to newsdaundry.com slash NL Sena, contribute an amount of your choice and power our reporting from Joshi Mutt. Meanwhile, some excellent reporting has been happening on this issue on NDTV and Aaj Tak. Malari Hotel Kajo Malik hai, wo Sarak Paraka, Biku Lake, or Bora, a food, food, Karora. Big kudos to reporters who went there and got us these ground reports. No kudos to you, Sudhir. इंसान को अपने लालच में इतना अंधा नहीं हो जाना चाहिए कि इन पर्वतों पर ही चोटियों पर जाकर उसे फाइव स्टार होटल्स बनाने हैं हमें पूरी उम्मीद है कि जो लोग उत्तराखंड और हिमाचल प्रदेश के पहाड़ों पर रील्स बनाने के लिए जाते हैं रुक रुक कर नूडल्स खाते हैं मैगी खाते हैं उन लोगों को यहां के पहाड़ों की के का जो असली दर्द है वो पता नहीं होगा हां भाई सारी गलती हम मैगी खाने वालों की है सरकार से कभी कोई क्वेश्चन मत पूछ लेना आप गलती से now, speaking of NDTV, we saw some really wild sights on the channel last week. Adani Samoo ke chairman Gautam Adani ne ek lambi baat cheet mein kai vivaadon aur aaropon par jawab diye. Unhone India TV ke karyakram aapki adalat mein kai aarop jo the un par jawab diye. Yes, that is NDTV promoting a show on rival channel India TV on their new boss Gautam Adani. In fact, NDTV's Twitter timeline on the day of the India TV interview looked like Gautam Bhai's personal social media page promoting his own content. Mehnat, mehnat aur mehnat. Tum sara mamuli influencer, YouTuber type, apne aap ko promote karne ke liye kya kar lete ho? Matlab tum kya hi kar lete ho? Like my video, please like my video, please share my latest interview with your friends and family, please like this video, please like this video, please like it. <laughs> that is not how billionaires roll. Billionaires just buy news channels. Money wins. Now, Adani is not the first billionaire to warm up to the media. Michael Bloomberg, Rupert Murdoch, David Thompson, Hamari Ghar Ki Murgis like Subhash Chandra, The Jains, Shobhna Bhartia. These guys and gals are media barons. Their core business is media and that business has made them super rich. So we call them media moguls. 
सॉरी सुधीर जी को बुरा लग जाएगा मुगल बोल दिया लेट्स कॉल दैम मीडिया मराठाज न्यू इंडिया है आफ्टर ऑल देन यू हैव रिच मैन हु स्कोर बिजनेस इज नॉट द मीडिया बट दे बाय मीडिया लाइक जेफ बेजोस हु बॉट द वॉशिंगटन पोस्ट Italy's billionaire Agnelli family that founded Fiat and has investments in Ferrari they own a 43% stake in the economist Lauren Powell Jobs wife of late Apple co-founder Steve Jobs bought Atlantic Hamare ghar ki murghis Mukesh Ambani bought Network 18 then you have Aditya Birla group which has invested in India today and of course dear Gautam bhai who recently bought NDTV so you get the point Gautam Bhai is following the long ancient tradition of businessmen buying or investing in media like politicians big businessmen need the media on their side taki sawal kam aur asli interviews zyada ho aapke jo dost hain wo aapko Gautam Tufani kehte hain गौतम भाई भगवान से तो सब मांगते हैं कि थोड़ा हमें भी दे दे लेकिन लगता है ऊपर वाला सिर्फ आपकी सुनता है एक साल में नौ लाख करोड़ रुपए ऊपर वाला कितना दे रहा है आप हर रोज सोलह सौ सो करोड़ रुपए कमाते हैं हर घंटे की कमाई सड़सठ करोड़ रुपए है तो ये जो कमाने की आदत है बचपन से थी या जवानी में शौक आया इतना पैसा कमा लिया इतनी वेल्थ कमा ली जरा दूसरों गरीबों के बारे में कुछ सोच लीजिए जरा दूसरों गरीबों के बारे में कुछ सोच लीजिए नाउ Gautam Adani does actually come out looking quite good and likable in this interview which is the point i guess he's humble he compliments everyone from the congress leaders to tatas to his rivals in business he compliments mukesh ambani rajat sharma spent quite a lot of time in the interview trying to get him to say something about rahul gandhi kuch to bole rahul gandhi ke bare mein ek shakhs hai hamare desh mein jinhone pichle 8 saal mein badi mehnat se aapko lokpriya banaya hai वो हर रोज आपका नाम लेते हैं नाम तो सुना होगा राहुल जैसे आपकी वेल्थ को कैलकुलेट करने में हिसाब रखने में दिक्कत हुई ऐसा मुझे दिक्कत हुई राहुल गांधी के आरोपों का हिसाब रखने में आठ साल से हर रोज दो तीन आरोप लगा देते हैं अदानी डजेंट टेक द बेट एंड सेज वो तो पॉलिटिशियंस पौलिटिश हैं पॉलिटिक्स करेंगे कोई बात नहीं आग मत लगाओ मैं उनके बारे में कोई टिप्पणी करूँ वो अच्छा नहीं है वो सम्मान्य नेता है और मैं देखता हूँ कि वो भी देश की प्रगति चाहते हैं तो मैं आज दावे के साथ बोल सकता हूँ कि हमको कोई भी सरकार से तकलीफ नहीं पड़ी है वी ऑल्सो गेट टू नो सम पर्सनल एस्पेक्ट ऑफ गौतम अदानी हु टिल नाउ हैज बिन प्रिटी मीडिया शाय मैं रात को जाता हूँ तो प्रीति के साथ में मैं रामी पपलू गेम खेलता हूँ आठ दस गेम खेलता हूँ और आ, मैं बोलूँगा वो ज़्यादा टाइम वो वही जीतती है my inner kiran khair just wants to go so sweet family man but that's not the point of adani's pr blitzkrieg is it i mean he's not taking out time from his multi crore business empire to speak to you guys and tell rajat ji that he plays rummy the point is to tell you other important things and the most important thing that i think both his interviews on india today and india tv want to convey is that gautam bhai is 100% shuddha desi ghee self made businessman no thanks to modi the world's third richest man gautam adani has told india tv in an exclusive interview that criticism of his fortune being fueled by his close links to prime minister modi stands disproved because he works with a slew of opposition ruled states criticism of his fortune being fueled by his close links to pm modi stands to disprove because he works itna dukhad vo ndtv itna dukh to ravish ki awaaz pe bhi nahi tha jab unne istifa diya tha you talking about your new boss thoda enthu please mr dani added i want to tell you that you can never get any personal help from modi ji you can speak to him about policies in the national interest but when a policy is framed it is for all not only for the adani group my god that's sad ndtv let's just listen to the man himself modi ji ke paas mein aap koi personal help nahi le sakte ho aap niti vishayak baat kar sakte ho aap desh ke hit mein देश को किस तरह से आगे बढ़ाने के लिए ग्राउंड लेवल पे क्या हो रहा है आप उसकी चर्चा कर सकते हो वो आप नीति बनाते हैं और वो नीति का फायदा जो सबके लिए अवेलेबल है वो अदानी ग्रुप के लिए भी अवेलेबल है 
Now, there have been many articles about Adani, his meteoric rise and how much that has to do with his close relationship with Prime Minister Modi. A 2014 article in Economic Times speaks of this relationship of Modi and Adani. In 2003, when most industry heavyweights stayed away from an investment meet that Modi had organized, a group of Gujarati business barons led by Gautam Adani saved the day for him. While Doyens of India Inc. warmed up to Modi much later, Modi never forgets people who stood by his side when it mattered the most. A Financial Times article also takes us back all the way to 2003. Modi was grilled by industry tycoons at an event hosted by the Confederation of Indian Industry CII, on his misgovernance in the 2002 riots. Gautam Adani defended him back then and helped set up a new industry body to sideline the CII. And Vibrant Gujarat was born. Cut to 2014, Gujarat's CM became India's PM and Adani lent his private jet to his old friend for his victory tour. From 2014 to 2020, Adani's net worth increased by about 230%. In 2022 alone, Adani's net worth increased by $66.2 billion. He's the richest Asian now. In both India Today and India TV interviews, Gautam Bhai stresses that his phenomenal rise is not because of one man. I see my life, the break I got to me, was the first Rajiv Gandhi ki sarkar ne diya, jisse hum global trading house ban paaye. Dusra break mila mere ko jiske wajah se Narsi Rao ki ji ki sarkar thi aur unhone public private partnership ke liye development ke upar aage bada aur ek liye isko pura industrialization ki nayi disha dikhai. Aur tisra mere ko Kesubi ki government ne mila. How would you respond to your critics who say that your rise and your meteoric rise was because of Prime Minister Narendra Modi? See, Prime Minister Modi and myself, both are coming from state of Gujarat. And that makes, makes me the easy target of a such business allegations. I am not because of Modi, but I am not because of the government of Bharat Vashkita. Today I am going to reach this place. Thank you Congress for many governments. Thank you Gujarat government for many governments. Thank you God. Not this one. Gautam Bhai's professional success is not because of any individual leader. Ye sun ke Modi ji ki inner Kiran Kher would have gone, Nahi! Kya isi din ke liye mene tumhe palpos ke itna bada kiya? The main message is that he is not a crony. This positioning helps Adani, who has an ever-expanding business portfolio out of India. And he surely wouldn't want to be seen as some Russian Putin category oligarch. Protests against Adani group, fears of Adani monopoly, questions around him getting one contract after the other, questions around his debt-driven business model. Put all this aside. Much of mainstream media will tell you to focus on the success story and that will be Adani's pitch too. Focus on the success story, ignore any skepticism around it. Because when billionaires buy media, billionaires are served. You know where I'm going with that one. That's all the nuisance we have for you this week. We'll be back next week. Until then, stay mad. That's the only way. Thank you so much, guys, for watching this episode. Please don't forget to contribute to our NL Sena project that will be reporting from Joshimat long after news cycle moves on to other issues. Please do think of subscribing to newslaundry.com and, of course, please contribute to NL Sena.